the craziness of numbers it just like continues frankfurt plus 215 leverkusen unbeaten all season in every competition plus 126 no one's mentioning that they're going to win every single competition they've ever entered um and leverkusen to score twice is minus 108 frankfurt they can let him free from two shots they're just unbelievably bad at the back but they do carry a threat what leverkusen is going to play uh, what team i'm not sure because the thing is with leverkusen now they they, they just want to not lose not lose and the game is on Thursday they've done the hard work by going to Roma and by the way I thought Roma would beat Leverkusen and Leverkusen so professional just completely just slapped him in their face and said listen we are on another level and there's another conversation to be had because do Leverkusen win Bundesliga next year do they go back to back is there a newfound belief or is it going to revert to type and it's going to be it all fine. depends it all depends, Draw, Flash, from the. Two. I don't know don't about you? Leverkusen winning, but uh, uh, winning the league next season. Mm. I wish that uh, they will continue to do that, them on Dor- or Dortmund. Uh, but I think that Bayer will not risk it again. <laughs> it will. It will be a crazy league uh, next year, and uh, we will see crazy results. But. Uh, uh, like Kern, stay there. But it was such an unbelievable performance against Aser Roma. I watched the game two times. It was so nice, the game that I had to watch two times. Mm. Such an impressive performance from Leverkusen. Absolutely amazing. And uh, now I don't know. They will win, they will lose. I don't think that they will lose. But I think that they will concede. Uh, And I'm going with the Alex Classic here at minus 120. Both teams to score and the over 2.5 goals. Yeah, it's 2-2, must be around plus 1,200. Do we think that 2-2? Because Leverkusen, they have scored, I think it's 17 goals in the last sort of eight or nine minutes of games and, this year. And in just one game, they, they failed to score. And crazy, it was against Gladbach that they failed to score all season long. Crazy. Okay, and, and, then, and then throw into that stinch that Frankfurt absolutely love being the fly in the ointment. Every team that plays Leverkusen now wants to be the one that lowers their mast. Yeah, this this is a good spot, I think, for Leverkusen to carry on their momentum throughout the whole season. I think discussed last week that it's great that Xabi Alonso is not... Um, resting and rotating players and then you have to refine that um rhythm for, for yeah. the game that they that they need to win in, in the knockout competitions and i think it's just i said last week i think it's just standing them in in a, in a fantastic place sunday thursday not a, not a quick turnaround either yeah yeah they have got two goal lead so they can manage that tie against roma quite nicely they know as long as they don't concede more than two goals. They'll they'll go through, um, and they'll then they'll be in the final uh, alongside the other final they have against Kaiserslautern. So, I think we're getting quite a nice price here on, on Leverkusen at plus one twenty six because they don't need to win, and because of that, I think Leverkusen's goal expectancy is lower. So then. That means that we get a lower total to attack. So yeah, right on side. Same, same, same um, plan as Alex is to back goals. Basically, we know Frankfurt, especially the the, the second half of the season, they've been very, very goal heavy. Their games, um, eight of their last ten have gone over two point five. Uh, Leverkusen won the reverse fixture three nil, and yeah, generally when these two meet, especially in Frankfurt. It's uh, it's quite goal heavy. Frankfurt have actually scored five the last two times Leverkusen have been to town. Now this is completely different Leverkusen uh, in terms of consistency in winning matches, but it still mean it's still they still concede goals Leverkusen. We we know that much. So, yep, I think the goal line here, especially we know towards the end of the season we tend to see an increase in goals as the handbrake goes off. Teams play with a little bit more freedom. So, given this is Bundesliga, I would I would have pitched the line at uh, three rather than two point seven five. So, I'm happy to back over two point seven five goals at minus one one four. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a two one two two uh, type game. I, mean, I think it start can't... it starts one one flash, and then we see where it goes. Yeah, both teams to score an over is probably another way to go. Or listen, I wouldn't. You can't rule out the way that Frankfurt defend because of the way that Frankfurt attack is uh, Leverkusen score three on their own. 
You just cannot rule that out because, again, they've got them players that will come in, have been waiting, and it's so beautiful to come in and give it the team spirit of the 20 in their squad. Remember, they've only used like 14 or 15 of them for the majority of the season. The togetherness, even if you haven't played, it's such a good place to be. Let's have a little look at the official picks, please. Over 2.75 at minus 114. Both teams to score and over 2.5 at minus 110. Yeah, I've got to agree that maybe the game does start 2-1 and just see what happens because probably 2-1 to Frankfurt and then Leverkusen scored two in the last three minutes <laughs> and it's just the way it's been. Let's move on. Also, also before before we move on, I want to say to I am Big Papa to go follow this channel because uh, Flash is covering also the Serie A also La Liga, also the Premier League. So he talked on the other shows about the games that you are uh, asking us about. Yeah, uh, exactly. I am Big Papa. Uh, yeah, Girona, Barcelona, Roma, uh, Juventus, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> okay.